this is how to start the aircraft generator on the Valentine auxiliary power Jeep. Put transfer case in neutral. Tranny in first gear. And this is disengage, engage. They let off the clutch. It's been the generator. Here's the outside of the Jeep. This is the only known Valentine welder converted uh, CJ3A APU known to exist. It's got the original paint, the original USN hood numbers. It's got some writing on here, I think it's from Surplus when it was released. And it's got the small wheels and tires on it to fit low underneath the jet aircraft wingspan. This has got a bump in the hood because it doesn't use a traditional L head engine. This has the later model Willys F head engine that provides a little bit more horsepower for the massive generator system. This is pretty much the exact way that I found it, except for I put the engine in myself, and I just found this generator on eBay last week. It's a Jack and Heinz G32, typical uh, DC aircraft generator. and it bolted right up to the PTO system. So this drives off the back of the transfer case. There's a little gear that when you move this shifter, it pushes the gears together and it engages or disengages this. This is cool because it's set up to have another generator right in here. Mine only has one and we think it's only had one its lifetime because the way that this box is set up there aren't enough wires through here to have uh, two generators at least an AC or a DC generator mine can have two DC generators but not uh, both types and this is a plug-in that a jet um, would have powered into to start its engine And then this part right here was a separate 24 volt battery to power the control box that would have sat right here. This has an RPM gauge on it. And it also has an hour meter over here. And this right here is a governor handle so that when you're out on the line starting up the jets you can just pull the governor have the engine rubbed up all the way without someone sitting in there and then you can be out there hooking up wires instead of controlling the throttle and another neat thing about an APU is that the transfer case sticks are way over on the other side of here rather than up here because you have to have room for the larger generator which makes it a little bit more difficult to shift the tranny but I guess that's what they had to do This has an anti-spark fuel pump on it. This piece um, is cut right into the gas tank. And the fuel pump's actually down inside here rather than on the side of the engine. Mine is not hooked up currently, but the wires for it are right down here. This is the only known Valentine 
APU converted CJ38 to exist. And it's the only uh, four-wheeled version of this Jeep that has any of the original equipment left.